do, do what must be done. Well, they do what must be done. Music celebrating the causes of progressive minds. Some people do, do, do what. There's something about music that, that gets into our heart and bypasses the, the, the sensor, it bypasses the gatekeeper in our mind and takes these messages into a deeper place. Brothers, son, and other performers lifting the spirits of more than 500 people concerned about the state of the nation on Inauguration Day. Well, what I witnessed as a kid was people appreciating soul, being aware, coming together, and now it feels like this is the exact opposite. This is divisiveness. Love is a power that won't be stopped. I think if we all learn to talk better to each other and listen better, there might be um, outcomes that we can't even foresee that will be better than what we're seeing now. We will not be taken with your hatred and spite. The inaugural concert brought together local and state leaders with people wanting to support women's rights, civil rights, and other causes. We're not only raising money for the causes, but we're showcasing the five national organizations who work on these issues that are among the most threatened by the incoming administration, or I should now say the new administration. You got to stay woke, you got to stay on the battlefield, and we're happy to be here to participate in that. We believe in freedom and Sweet Honey in the Rock and Tret Fury got concert goers on their feet with songs about freedom, protest, and equality. Oh, the fishermen who live by the bay, lifelong fishermen. Singer Josh White Jr. reminded everyone what is at stake with his song about the disabled, the downtrodden, and the disadvantaged. Don't laugh at me. Don't. I would have walked here from Detroit to be here to do this. You want your voice to be heard. Phyllis Armstrong in Silver Spring for My MC Media. Yes, sir.